everyone! Welcome back to the Command Block Tutorial Series. This is Episode 8 of the Command Block Tutorial Series, and I'm actually going to be teaching you um, scoreboards in today's video. Also, no one joined the Discord, but that's okay. All the Discord is there for is to help you guys with commands, or if you guys want to show a Command Block creation to me. Um, that's all it's there for, and... That's okay if you guys don't join. The link will be in the description if you guys want to join, though. Okay, let's head inside and teach you some scoreboard commands. Oh, wow. He upgraded his laptop. Oh, yeah. Hello, George. Have a good one. <laughs> Have a great one. Okay, text with his face. Okay. Let's head to testing room E again, because that's my room, apparently. Do, do, do. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you the scoreboard command in today's video, and there's actually two different types of the score thing. There's an argument for scoreboards, and there is a command for scoreboards. And scoreboards are very helpful. So, scoreboards are easy to understand. What a scoreboard is, is it holds a score or a number, um, and it doesn't hold a float it only holds integers uh so scoreboards are the things you'll see displayed on the right hand side of the screen sometimes uh in like servers and stuff that's a scoreboard um and you'll always notice they have numbers and the numbers are red and what these numbers are they are the uh value of the item that corresponds with it so, scoreboards are very easy to understand. So, if we go ahead and type slash scoreboard, and this might be a short video, we have two different types. Now, it shows, like, five different things because objectives have five different things inside of it. Um, players have six different things inside of it. But we could choose objectives or players. Well, we're first going to need to create an objective to display our scores on. Um, what an objective is, is the main um, scorekeeper. It is basically what you're keeping scores for. So let's say I wanted an objective to show how much money we have. So we're going to go ahead and do objectives. And then you can uh, list or you can add, remove, list, and set the display of. So it's as simple as that. So we're going to make a new scoreboard. So we're going to need to do scoreboard objectives add. Um, and then it says string. Now this is going to be your objective. Um, this name is hidden. Uh, it doesn't show up on the side. Um, and what a hidden name is, is basically this helps you for when you want to show like all these colors on the side, but you don't want to uh, type out all those colors over and over again. Uh, so this is your actual objective. It's going to be money. And then dummy is what actually displays. As you can see, it says display name right here. So this will be the display name. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and do some colors here. Money. As simple as that. So that's going to be what displays. And we're going to need to put this in quotes because that's just how... Um, to tell it that it's a string, um, because this symbol, oops, sorry, okay, this little symbol right here, uh, it does not recognize it. It won't make sense, because symbols and special characters do not make sense as a string. So, these symbols don't make sense. So, if I go ahead and click enter, well, we just created our objective. Now, we need to display it. Um, as you can see, if I open the pause menu below my name or right next to my name, uh, it doesn't show anything. Um, but if I go ahead and do slash scoreboard again, remember there was something called set display. So if I do objectives, as you can see, it says set display. So we're going to need to set its display to show up somewhere. So I want it to show up uh, below my name, which you can't see it, uh, but the player's uh, in the game with you can so if you want it to display below your name tag in game you can uh, 
do you want to display it as a list or as a sidebar? So the list is in the pause screen. So basically a list would display right here, the number right here. So if I go ahead and do scoreboard, oops, scoreboard objectives, set display, we're going to do sidebar. I want it displayed on the side of the screen, the right hand side. So sidebar, and then it says the objective that we need, I need money, and we're good because uh, we don't need the ascending or descending. And bam, as you can see, we have money. Um, now, if we go ahead and do slash scoreboard again, we need we we have the objective displaying but we don't have any scores for the objective and to set a score is we need a cor a corresponding um name to go with the score so our first score or our score is going to be our own player so we're going to do players now this is inefficient it shouldn't be called players it should be called scores so scoreboard scores but they do players um, no clue why so think of it more like scoreboard scores because we can add anything it doesn't have to be a player <laughs> so now we have a few things right here we can do an operation a random um, like random gives the player a random number uh, remove reset set or test and we can also add and list um, so here we're going to add, now to display a player on the sidebar, we just need to tell it that we need this score as a number. So we can just do zero. And now we're displayed on the side. Um, and if I wanted to, I could go ahead and press up on the um, keyboard and then do five. Now it would add five to me. And um, you can do the same add and do minus five, that would work too. Um, but there is a remove command if you want to do that instead. Remove five. It doesn't matter, you can just do add negative five. Um, as you can see, it removed five. Uh, and then I can add five back. There you go. So that's the add and remove for scoreboard players. Um, then we have uh, operations. Basically, uh, it it's like multiplication and other things. So if I do, I want at s money. Um, and we can do an operation for another scoreboard. Now what this does is it can set your value with another scoreboard. So if I had two scoreboards, because we can have more than one scoreboard, definitely. We can have a whole bunch. Um, but if I go ahead and create a new objective, add, um, and call this money two, dummy uh, money, it doesn't matter what that is. Actually, let's do money B. Now we have an objective called money B. And what we're gonna do is scoreboard uh, players, add, at s money b we can't see this but we're gonna add five now we can do an operation between the money on the sidebar here and money b so if i go ahead and do scoreboard players operation operation uh at s money or money b i think wait money display or money Forget, wait. Okay, yeah. So, sorry. I was thinking in my head, it's money, uh, as in the display first. And I think, wait, no, it would be money B. So, we're going to do at S money B, so five. And we're going to set, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. We're going to We're gonna figure it out. But we're going to do money, and then we're going to do, uh, let's say, multiplied by uh, at S's value or the player's value in money B. Okay, I did it back. Wait, wait, no, no, I didn't. 
Did I? I think I might have... Uh oh. <laughs> sorry. Guys, I, I'm taking a brain fart here. Um, I'm forgetting which way around it is because display might go first. Um, so, money B and then display. So that would be multiplying. We're setting the money to it. Well, I'm going to need to give myself money. So we're going to give ourselves money here. Sorry, this is very choppy. I, I didn't expect it to go this way. <laughs> so I'm going to give myself one and then do the same operation. And it should hopefully. Yeah, OK, so I did the operation correctly. So basically, it's setting money to the or it's setting our money value to money B, but it's also multiplying them. So it's going to multiply these two um, together and set money to that value. Um, if I were to do it opposite, this is where I got confused. If I was to do it money B and then money, what it would do is multiply money B by money and it would still give us the same value, but it would set money B to that value and it wouldn't display. So we need to always have the displayed one showing. So like that. So that would uh, give us more money. So I, if I wanted to, I can do it again. And now I have 25, do it again. And I could just keep multiplying by five. And that's good for any math equations if you guys want to do any. Um, as simple as that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do scoreboard players and show you, uh, let's see, random. We could set a random integer for the player. So I'm gonna do random at s money. And then we just choose a random number. So zero through, let's do 100. Now I'm 36, okay. And then do it again, 32. And then do it again, 69. Uh, this is great for like a, a randomizer if you wanna do it this way, instead of the armor stand randomizer. I usually do the armor stand randomizer, but you can also do it this way too, uh, as scoreboard commands. And that could actually help a lot in randomizers that you need inside of a player's stats. So this could help. Uh, you can do a randomizer like that. Uh, then we can do um, reset. Now, you guys might be wondering, how do you get a player's score off the sidebar? Well, it's pretty simple. We can do reset. Um, so at S, uh, so we're gonna scoreboard players reset the player's money. So I'm going to do that. Bam, I'm off the board. It removes me from the board. And then to add me back, I can just always do players, add, at s, money, zero. And there I am. So if we go back to scoreboards, players, we have the last two. Um, well, these ones are pretty simple. Set is to set the value. Um, instead of adding and removing, we can set it. So I want it to be 100, and if I do the set command again, it's not adding, it's setting it, as you can see. Uh, and I want it to be 105. There, it's 105. I want it to be zero. There you go. Uh, you could also do the set command if you want to add a player to it. So that's the set command. It's just like adding, but it sets the value. So it's like saying this is equal to that. And then the last one's test. So basically, um, this would be in a command block. And we would do scoreboard at or players test at s for money equaling to uh, zero. And then it would do something. So it would say, let's do just a simple say hi command. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our button and activate it like so uh, and it would say hi wait 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 wait, wait. Oh. did I do something wrong that's where the command block output comes in uh, no target matches wait did I do at s wait I think I might have done at s yep okay <laughs> that's why you always check your commands before you do them and then we're gonna go ahead and press the button and it will say hi now if I have more than 
say that number, uh, 10, 100, it will still work because I don't have a range on it. Um, so basically the test command works with the range. We have the first int, so we have first and second. So it's a range min and max. Um, so min and max. So if I set the minimum number to 10 through 50, so you must have that. As you can see, it won't work now, but if I set my number to something like 25, which is in between 10 and 50, now it will say hi to me. So that's that's the test for command. It's kind of like, um, well, that's the test inside of the scoreboard command. It's kind of like the test for command, but in the scoreboard. So let's move on to the score argument. Now, I know I was going pretty fast, but the scoreboard command itself is quite easy to understand. It's kind of like a variable in game development. Now, if you guys have never done game development, it's uh, a variable just holds um, any text or information for you. Um, but in this case, all it does is hold a integer. So it's very simple to understand. Uh, so I was going pretty fast. So next thing I'm going to teach you is the scoreboard argument. Okay, time to teach you the scores argument. Now I called it multiple things. I called it score and the scoreboard argument. It's actually the scores argument with an S. Um, and this argument is one of the special arguments because it will um, find a group of players um, inside of a selector, of course, uh, that's what an argument does, um, who have a specific score. But the reason why this uh, argument is so much spe or more special than all the other arg arguments is because you need curly brackets in order to specify what the argument has inside of it because it can hold multiple scores inside of it. So we're going to type curly brackets. And inside of these curly brackets, we're going to have our information for the score. So we're going to do money equals to, well, what number? One. Okay, so now what that will do is execute at me um, with the score or scores money equaling to one. So I need money equal to one. Now you can use this to say, okay, a level five person needs to have... Um, will be level five in order to do something well now this is a cool thing to tell it a range of numbers because not only do you, you want one number but you want it to be a range right because you don't want it to just be money equaling to one only the people with one dollar no <laughs> you want it to be one and more and to show one and more we put two dots now, why two? It's just coding. It's just how coding works. So we're going to put two dots. Um, and the reason why the two dots work is because it tells it it's not a decimal. Those two dots are meaning a range. So one through, uh, since we didn't specify a max, so this is min and max. Um, since we didn't specify a max, the max is however high it can go. Um, so it's infinite. So anybody with one dollar or higher, that's what that means. Um, to specify a max, we just do a number after the dots, and then bam, there's our money. Now, if I go ahead and do uh, one through fifty, that means it will only execute at the players with one through fifty. So I want to do a slash give at s um, apple. Let's do an apple, um, but as you can see, nobody has that, or I don't have it. So I'm going to need to give myself some money. So scoreboard players add at s money one. Now I have one. So now if I do the command, I get an apple. As simple as that. Now you can use this in a lot of, a lot of occasions. If somebody needs a certain level to be teleported somewhere, you can do this. Um, you can have the argument, okay, you need level 50 to go to this area. 50 or higher. Um, and that's what the two dots are. 50 dot dot. 
that's what 50 or higher would look like. Um, and that's where you can use it um, as a level system in arguments. And you can also do it to display something for a player with a certain amount of a score. So I think that's all I need to really explain with the scoreboard command or and the scores. Yeah. So that's the argument. <laughs> and that's all, it, that's all it really does is tells you the scores or tests if you have a certain amount of score on a certain scoreboard. So let's head over to the command block creations. Okay, so I have a few creations for you guys. And the reason why I left the money there is for a good reason. Um, because one of the cre creations actually involves the money. So you can make a shop. As you can see, we can buy a sword for $100. If I press this button, nothing happens because, of course, I don't have $100. Um, if I go ahead and give myself $100 with that command block, purchase the sword. As you can see, I get the sword. It removes my money, and now I have the sword, and I can't purchase another one because I don't have enough money now. So how does this all work? In the back, we have a impulse... Uh, needs redstone command block, of course, um, and what this is going to do is be activated by this button and It will do the scoreboard command players test at P or the nearest player for Money 100 so if they have a hundred money now, like I said if you never specify a maximum it means 100 and more it you don't need to specify a maximum. A lot of people think you need to specify a maximum. No, you do not. If you specify a maximum, that just means, okay, you want it between this range. But if you want it to be infinite, you just do 100, you specify the minimum, and you're good. <clears throat> now, in this command block, um, we then have, okay, it's going to remove the money. Um, and it's conditional. What that means is if this one's activated correctly. or So test will give off a um, pulse uh, if it is true. So, or this tests if this one's true. And since if that one's true, it will remove the player's money. Now, this one also needs to be conditional because if this one's not conditional, then it would still be activated because remember, Command blocks activate if a pulse goes through them. Conditional means it will test if the previous one is true. So if this one's activated, it would be true in the first place. So we need to do that again. Because all it would do is send a pulse from this one to this one. And if this one's not activated, it doesn't matter. It's still going to send its pulse. Because that's how pulses work. So if we open this, we have give at P stone sword. So basically what it just did is it tests if they have the money, uh, removes their money, and gives them the sword. Okay, you can also use scoreboards for a level system. If I go ahead and do slash scoreboard, actually, wait, 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 no, I don't have to because I set up these commands. I completely forgot. So now I switched over to magic, um, and basically what these did are removed the money, uh, added magic, uh, set the magic's display, and added me to it. Um, now, now, I have a magic scoreboard, and that's my level. I'm level zero currently, and to improve my level, I can press this, and this will add one to my magic. Okay, now I'm level one. Now I have a speed boost. Okay, now I'm a little bit faster. I press it again, now I'm level two. As you can see, it's displayed at the bottom of my screen, and I can jump higher. Okay, press it again. Now I'm max level, so now I can punch and do a lot of cool things with this magic that I have. So how does this all work? If I go ahead and do scoreboard uh, players, let's get rid of my um, magic real quick. Uh, I think it's called, yep, yeah, I got zero. Wait, oh, forgot to specify a player. <laughs> uh, uh, so now I'm back to zero and the max level will disappear. So how does this all work? Well, using the argument. I had to show you guys how the argument could be used. So, basically what this command will do is affect all the players with magic equaling to 1 and higher with speed 1. In this command block, it will title all the players 
with magic one, as you can see, it doesn't say or higher because we don't want it to uh, display level one for people who have higher than one, only for level ones. Um, and then this one is effect at a scores magic equaling to two or higher with a jump boost. Um, and then it will display the same thing. And then this is effect at all the players with three or higher. And this can keep going. I just stopped it here um, with strength. Um, and then this is max. So uh, basically why I am saying this three or higher for the max is because anybody with four, it's going to display level max because you already have the max level. So it doesn't matter what the scoreboard is. If it's higher than three, you are max level. So that's this little system. You can build it in your worlds if you guys want to, and you can change around the magic, and you can change around what they get from it. Uh, if you want them to just get speed and it gets higher and higher the more they go, then go ahead. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see your creations if you guys want to join the Discord and uh, send them on the Command Block Creations tab. That's all for this video, and I know it was like half the time that the other video took yesterday, or the, yesterday, uh, the week uh, before this video, um, but scoreboards are quite simple to understand, and a lot of people think they are very confusing, but trust me, they are really easy to wrap your head around uh, once somebody just explains them to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good one. Like the video if you like liked it, and dislike it if you disliked it. Uh, it's good to have your feedback. Bye.